I'm currently making it a goal of mine to complete as many LEGO games as possible before the year 2025. So far, we've already knocked out two, and our third edition in the series is going to be LEGO Ninjago, the video game movie. The game consists of 50 trophies, and the first stage of completing the Platinum is to sit back, relax, and enjoy the story missions. Starting off with the tutorial where you get to learn the basics of the dojo moves, and eventually take out the Sensei Chicken himself. During this level, we actually got the first three out of 50 achievements achievements for just completing the tutorial. After this, we're dropped into Lego City where these gangs of shark-like ninjas pull up out of nowhere and start terrorizing the citizens. We're dropped into our dragon mech form as chapter one begins, and then we get our feet wet as we hop into Lloyd's gameplay and start taking on the goons themselves. We do get our fourth achievement for finding a character token, and then our fifth achievement for completing the three chapters inside of level one. In the next level, we found our fifth golden brick, which gave us an achievement, and then we achieved the 100 hit combo for another one. In the middle of the beach level, we had our first quote-unquote boss fight that had three different stages as we had to destroy the legs of this spider crab looking thing. Traveled a bit further throughout the level, doing a few more puzzles and collectibles, which gave us another achievement for completing the chapter. After the level was over, back in the overworld, we saw this little pop-up to try out the arena for the first time. Obviously, I got first place. We're playing against bots. But this did give us an achievement for completing our first arena walkthrough. We got to play as this old grandpa dude who taught us the power of spin jitsu. He kind of like makes a tornado and throws it at signs. We then freed our homie that was stuck in some sort of rock who taught us the ability of earth spin jitsu, which also gave us an achievement for doing it for the first time. Further through the level, we found a secret which led us to our first red brick. But in this game, they're actually called Ancient Scrolls, but you get the difference. And yeah, this gave us an achievement. At the end of the level, we came into an encounter versus whatever this thing is. And after defeating him through what was a pretty good battle, to be honest, we got an achievement for it. And then completing the chapter also gave us another achievement, putting us at 13 out of 50 so far. Huh? We made our way into the Ravina, starting off a new level, where we learned the ability of Ice Spinjitsu. This allowed us to travel through waterfalls and other water areas of the game, and we had to guide the dude that we just beat up throughout the entire level to unlock certain doors and puzzles throughout the level. Inside of this level, we also got an achievement for using the Dragon Strike ability 20 times, and another achievement for completing the level of the Ravina. Outside of the level, we did accept our first side quest ever, which this guy had us running around to pick up 20 crystals that he had left around, and this gave us another achievement. And then we made our way into the next level of the campaign. And real quick, I gotta be honest, bro, I've been having a very big struggle within playing this game. It keeps crashing. Every 25 to 35 minutes, the game just dies. Total crash counter of the game will be on screen right now. Yeah, it's pretty bad. All right, so after the game crashing inside the next level, we used the Spinjitsu move, which gave us an achievement for using it 10 times. Pretty cool. And then it was through the level doing some parkour, filling up a tank, feeding a pig, getting a new credit for a character unlock. And then we made our way to the stage where these guys were hosting a party without all of our buddies, which uh, resulted in learning a few new abilities as well, like the Warlord Lego structure destruction. After learning this, we did have an encounter with the sand crab thing for another boss fight. During this encounter, Lloyd does learn a new spinjitsu move, which does give us an achievement for using the tornado build for the first time. We kicked his ass, hopped on the helicopter, and made our way to the next chapter. Oh yeah, and we got an achievement for completing the level. After the level in the overworld, we paid 150,000 studs to create this stage, which gave us an achievement for creating our first build in the overworld of the game. And then we busted down a couple of moves. Into the 12th chapter, we had to create a little parkour route for our buddies here, because we got the ice powers, we're pretty cool. Further through the level, homeboy here learns that he has powers. He finally gets his spin jutsu, which is fire. We can finally break down these pesty ice blocks to obtain other golden bricks and character unlocks later. We beat the crap out of a couple of skeletons and made our way through chapter 12 and into chapter 13, where we had to set off a couple of different fireworks. Also, this dude's like on our team now. I haven't really been following the story, but that's pretty cool. We got a new ninjutity token and the game decided to crash. Yay. Progressing through the story, we basically had a bunch of enemy waves we had to go through, including two boss fights at the end of the level. And as it says, this is the unclimbable mountain 
mountain, which honestly, bro, it was pretty easy to do. After the two boss fights, it is level complete as we watch Floyd climb to the top of the mountain and we uncover the key, giving us an achievement for completion. We then return to Ninjago City downtown area, which is being destroyed by the cat. Yeah, more on this later. This is the final level of the game. It was filled with a bunch of action and honestly, guys, the action and gameplay in Lego Ninjago is some of the best combat I've seen done besides like the Star Wars games. We do get the final skill tree point, giving us the maximum shockwave and completing the final way of the ninja for an achievement and a red brick. And then it was the end of the level and the end of the campaign game. Honestly, only eight areas, which honestly isn't too bad. Pretty quick campaign, but here's the cat. Yeah, the cat. The cat actually ate our father, which was this dude, by the way, the entire game. I should have paid a little bit more attention to the lore, but Floyd tells him that he loves him and he's sorry, yada, yada, yada. The cat spits him out. They hug, they cry, and we get two more achievements for completing all locations and the campaign. And then the magnificent bonus level in Lego Ninjago video game, movie game, movie video game. It's honestly a great time. You play as like two mechs, Godzilla styled creatures that destroy the Ninjago city. We we get the 100% and this gives us another achievement for completing the bonus level. With the campaign and the bonus level out of the way, it is on to stage two, which is going to be dojo and collectibles. Throughout this, we're going to do all eight dojos first, as you will need to get some of these characters to use within your collectible journey of replaying all of the levels again. Dojo number one with an achievement. Dojo number two with an achievement. Dojo three with an achievement. Few character unlocks, few golden bricks. Achievement for getting 50 golden bricks. Our first achievement for finishing a race and getting gold in it. Three more dojos and three more completions for three more achievements. Honestly, this is one of the more fun parts of the game is doing the dojos. An achievement for using all of the different abilities inside of the arena mode. And another arena mode achievement for using all different game modes. The seventh dojo gave us our 35th achievement. And then moving on to the eighth and final dojo, getting the gold completion on it gave us two more achievements. Oh yeah, and then my game crashed. We randomly hit this purple block, which gave us 40 million studs, which gave us the true ninja rank 20, which is this game's version of collecting 1 billion studs or 10 billion studs throughout a leveling system. 38 out of 50 achievements. And now for the most tedious part of the game, just going throughout everything, collecting every single golden brick, every character token, and all 10 red bricks of Lego Ninjago video game. Hopping back in, we do get the achievement for having two versions of the same character out at once once and then we get the achievement for creating a custom character two very simple achievements to get and then hey look we got 150 golden bricks for another achievement bro this grind in lego ninjago has been such a tedious adventure i'm not even gonna lie to you guys the amount of bugs game crashes and everything in between i was having fun and now it's more of a grind achievement for getting every single red brick in the game let's freaking go and yeah in case you're wondering this is what my pov looks like i have to play it in a borderless window on very low graphics due to the game keep crashing and guess what it did it again oh my god i have literally been grinding for this platinum i have been playing for hours and hours and hours straight throughout the past couple of days now and the bugs just don't stop i was so close to completing the dark ravine area with one golden brick left Left, and the game crashed. Yeah, let's fucking go. Collect 200 golden bricks live in the action. Let's go, dude. Are we done with Dark Ravina? Pretty, sh yeah, 24 out of 24. Nice. Uh, we have the Cron Crossable Jungle. Let's go, dude. All races complete. Let's freaking go. 46 out of 50. We are almost there, ladies and gentlemen. And here we got the final build for the 46th achievement in the game. Four more to go, guys. Getting super close. But yet again, we're at like 115 game crashes. So, bleh. oh my God. I think this is it, ladies and gentlemen. The final mini quest, side quest, golden brick. Wow. <laughs> Complete all side quests. Yes, in mother freaking Didi, bro. Oh, man, we are done. Wait, it didn't give us a gold brick. 220 out of 99.8. Wait, what do I do? Wait, what? Yeah, right in front of this little wall. 220 golden bricks right here. Let's freaking go. The final character unlocked for the gold ninja. Give me that shit, boy. Bang. Collect all character tokens, and we get the gold ninja. Let's freaking go achieve 100 completion as well let's freaking go part two baby all right so for this final achievement i believe i just play as lord gargar -gar 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 whatever the hell this guy's name is called 
And then we just kill all the shark. Oh, I got the achievement. I literally don't even have to. We're, we're done. I don't even have to freaking play it. I can just exit level. Oh my gosh. Get me out of there, bro. I'm chilling. And that is the 100% 50 out of 50 completion for Lego Ninjago. If you guys managed to watch through the entire video, please consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video and dropping a comment down below to tell me what game you want to see next. This was one of the more stressful Lego games because I'm playing it on PC, so it's pretty freaking buggy. There was a lot of stuff going on, a lot of crashes in the game as well. But honestly, bro, one of my favorite lego games in terms of the actual mechanics and combat behind it but thank you for watching have a great day i'll see y'all in the next one it's been your boy chambi and hey good luck on your platinums and let me know some more down below later